lot is a very, very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, and we're popping up on Friday night at 10 o'clock sharp. 10 o'clock right now, and a very, very warm welcome to our evening phone-in, of course. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Tregs. Good to have you with us. And dinky-doo. Welcome to our evening phone-in. One hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment for not just one nation, but for all the nations of the world. So you're very, very welcome here. Good evening, Scotty. How are you, Robert? We are amazing. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome to you. Fantastic. Just amazing. Good evening, everyone. Dinky-doo from Scotty McClure. And Dinky-doo says Karim. Thank you, Karim. Lovely to have you with us. Good evening, you big handsome chap. Oh, Susie, babe. You are so very, very kind to me. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, it's very, very good of you. Now then, we have a lot to get through tonight, so to your telephones in a few minutes' time, and let's get the chit-chat going. I haven't opened the lines because they go absolutely bananas, and uh, we like to see what is what. Now, a little bit of housekeeping. We're live on TikTok right now, one of the world's top streaming platforms. We're live on YouTube right now, one of the world's top streaming platforms. We're live on Twitch, one of the world's top streaming platforms. And I saw some movement. Twitch is relatively new uh, to Scotty McClue. And I saw some movement. So if you like to be watching at Scotty underscore McClue, that would be just amazing. I'll see if I can get that up while we're talking on some of the captions along the bottom there. We'll get that up for you. Did you do, Scotty, says Professor Numpty Heat. Evening, Scotty and all, says the wonderful Kareem. And that is us on the move. Now then, we're only a couple of minutes into the program, uh, and I could, two things I would like to discuss with all the old fun games happening, Hearts and Hibs and Rangers and Celtic. How can we ensure that there is no rivalry off the pitch and with the supporters? And how can we ensure that there are no drunks and that there is no fighting? That's what we need to go. How can we get the message across they are both exactly, exactly the same religion? So there we are. Good evening, McClue. Happy Friday. Jordan, how lovely to have you with us. DJ Mac Dinky Do. You're looking fresh, as Scotty. I thank you, Derek and Clive. And welcome to your good self. Uh, so there we are. Now then, uh, lots of lovely presents from Kareem, tennis balls, roses, TikToks, all these lovely, lovely gifts. Very, very kind of you, Kareem. And I thank you. I say to you. Now, I think I'll open the phones right now. There we are. And uh, if anybody wants to come on, they can give us a call uh, as soon as they like. So that should be the phone lines open now with a bit of luck. Uh, Ellis Dinky Do. Fantastic. Oh, here we go. Uh, good evening. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you. <laughs> Scotty, oh, Kareem. Kareem Dinky Do. Uh, Kareem, you might seem strange me asking all the time, but it's part of a requirement, if you like. When you're running a talk show, you say to them, Good evening. You're live on Scotty's phone in, because you don't want somebody to say, oh, I, I didn't know I was live. I thought I was just talking to you. You get people as daft as that, you know what I mean? Yes. So, no, no, it's all Scotty. It's all part of the game. So that's, that's all part of it. So I, I, I just have a standard, good evening, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who is that? And if somebody gives me the first name, then we're off. We're good. We're set to go. Yeah, set uh, to I've go. had a very afternoon since I called this morning that I've painted the whole back garden so I am oh. knackered and well I'll tell you the weather's quite good for that because it's not yeah. one thing or another it's not damp it's not too cold it's not too yeah. hot and if you've been painting that's very yeah. very good because the sun tends to dry the oil out the paint you know well it was a defence and I have a, like a paint gun so it took me, well, it took a couple of hours to do, but I didn't uh, rush it. But I would have nowhere, I would have took hours upon hours if I'd done it by hand. If you'd done it by hand, uh, they're very good, these things. All the modern yeah. tools, marvellous. Now then, I yes. uh, thoroughly enjoyed our chat this morning. In fact, I've uploaded it, Kareem, the cars. 
Ah, lovely. Because right. uh, people, I think people, and it took a wee while to process, so I think probably the powers that be would be wondering, what on earth is all this about? <laughs> well, a Google search get an image of what that car looks like, and I actually, and I know I've seen the car before, probably as a wee boy, or you know, like on TV or something. So I, I do know the cars. Uh, and, the, and is that the Rover screen? No, the, the, the oh, the Morris, the, the Morris a thousand, yes. Oh, you would know it, you'd recognise it. There was absolutely, yeah. you know, probably millions of them. I don't know how many they made, but several yeah. hundred thousand, I would think. Uh, you know, uh, and yeah. uh, and of course, um, Austin and uh, you had Longbridge. You see, a lot uh -huh. of it was in the Midlands, Birmingham, and round about there. And the uh -huh. Rover Company was Solly Hull. Uh, right. Okay. So, so the Rover Company was at Solly Hull, and after the Second World War, uh, they couldn't get steel. You see, these things because of all the uh, it had all been used to make bombers and fighters and what and have you. And, uh, uh, and build battleships. So you couldn't get steel. So they used aluminium, and that was the start of the Land Rover. Right, okay. Yeah, and some of the um, the boots and the bonnets in the Rover 100 range, they were aluminium uh, as well. So it was quite good because they didn't rust. See, the Land Rover and Range Rover, they're two different companies, yes? No, uh, they were the uh, same. Uh, they, they were all the Rover company of Solihull. Uh, so right. that was it, very famous, the Rover Company, Solihull. And then right. um, they, what happened was, after the Land Rover, they wanted to expand their range a little bit and uh -huh. uh, bring something for maybe the state owners because the right. Land Rovers were very, very practical, but quite sort of, um, what can I say, quite coarse to drive. Right. Uh, okay. So you couldn't sort of said, I think I'll take uh, the missus out in the Land Rover tonight, you know. That sort of idea. But they had Rover right. engines. The petrol ones had Rover engines, and most of right. the diesels had Perkins diesels. But you can put all sorts of engines in a Land Rover uh -huh. that's a very flexible vehicle. But right. uh, they, that was when they brought out the first Range Rovers, I think in the early 70s, late 60s, early 70s. Uh -huh. And right. um, But they were quite agricultural. It was mainly farmers and estate owners and things that had them. You didn't have them uh, figuring up the central aisle of the supermarket like they do now, you know. <laughs> the way I, I view it for nowadays, I think if I can tell the difference between them, one of them looks very uh, like cars, very Porsche looking, and the other one is quite square. Um, yeah, that's quite right. Boxy, bulky. Well, they've just brought a new one out because they were worried about some of the safety aspects of a design that was uh, about, well, let's just see how old it is, 74 years old. So I would imagine wow. you'll be celebrating uh, Land Rover 75 within the next year or so. What about, and I could be wrong with this, uh, is it British or American, if you remember the make, Saab? Saab, Saab Swedish. Swedish, right. Saab okay. Swedish, right. Saab and Volvo are the big Swedish cars. And both right. of them absolutely first-class motor cars. And, yeah. um, you know, I mean, designed to operate in sub-zero temperatures, what have you. Uh -huh. And Saab was beautifully engineered because they actually built fighter jets. Uh -huh. They yeah. were aircraft. Yeah. Saab were aircraft builders. And then they right. went into building motor cars. I would love to try, uh, you know, you can test drive cars. I would love to try uh, a Volvo just to see what they're like. Well, I would, I would certainly go and uh, and uh, just speak to the dealer and say, can I get a drive of this? Because they were very, very good. I mean, you know, they were really tough, big motors, uh, the likes yeah. of uh, the 122, and then you had the 144, and then you had the 244, and it just went on like that, and the 460 and what have you, um, and they developed the range, but they were always beautiful well-engineered, well-made big motor cars. And I think yeah. you've got Volvos going away back to the, the 30s and 40s. Wow, right, okay. Yeah. Nice. Right, in Sweden. Oh, Scotty, what, my wee quick question for tonight was, um, and you've probably read about it, uh, in Wales just now it's uh, being tested or piloted within some primary and secondary schools. Uh, and I'll tell you in a second, but they're they're talking about it that well the, the Tories, the Scottish Tories, 
uh, want to introduce in Scotland. And what they're wanting is the school day to be increased. So let's just say from nine o'clock to five o'clock. 